Hi guys, welcome back. I know, I always say this, don't kill me. It's been a long, I think it's been three or four months that I've last spoken to you guys. So, today's video, as you can see from the title, I am officially a hundred pounds down, a hundred plus pounds down. And I feel so, so good. It's a few things that I wanted to come though and talk to you guys about. Um, that was a little annoying and that I kind of experienced throughout these past few months. Um, let's talk about the stalls. The stalls. I was in a stall for maybe about a month and a half. This stall was so annoying. I was saying to myself, what's going on? I felt like this was the weight that I was going to stop at and it was just really freaking me out. And I noticed um, I was snacking a lot. I actually got an appetite back. Not a drastic appetite back, but more so of, you know, just having the taste for something and I would actually eat it. But the only thing I had a taste for was cheese puffs. Um, in the beginning of, uh, after the surgery, I used to have these organic uh, cheese puffs and they were like white cheddar. Um, now I didn't eat these organic cheese puffs anymore. I started to eat regular cheese puffs, which was bad. It had about one gram of sugar in it, which it was just bad. But I wouldn't, I literally would have one a day. So my sister told me, I'm telling you, if you stop these cheese puffs, the weight will drop. So I'm like, okay, because it's carbs. So I said to myself, okay, you know what? I'm going to stop these cheese puffs. Literally, when I stopped those cheese puffs, the weight kept coming off. I, I, I was still on the same diet. I was still on my meat and veggies. I stuck to that. But just a snack, just to have something like sweet in my mouth, that was the cheese puffs. Um, but I do not eat that. I'm telling you guys, you guys need to stay away from that. I know it melts in your mouth and it's everything. I'm telling you, it will cause a stall. Once I stopped that, I was good. And I'm um, sorry if you guys hear my heater. It's so noisy, but okay, whatever. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so that stall was annoying. Then also too, I had a 10th birthday party for my son. And he actually had a huge birthday party where he had like cupcakes, cakes, strawberries, all kind of treats you can think of he had at this party. But I did good. I did not have any of his treats. But the next day, because we actually had his party before his actual birthday, so the next day I actually got him a vegan cake because he has to have a lot of things dairy free. So um, I got him a vegan cake and I did have piece of that vegan cake and it was so, so good. But that was kind of part of that stall because we had the cake left over for a few days and you know I would sneak a little piece here and there then on top of that having those terrible cheese puffs so that was just my stall but I'm, I must say you guys in this whole process I've never gained I've never gained I've heard stories where people had actually gained by snacking um, but I've never gained I've always either stayed at a stall or I lost um, if I stopped like the bad eating and stuff like that but i um, not saying that I am like a bad eater or anything like that but this I did honestly was snacking on these cheese puffs and that was like the only thing um, I haven't had soda in like almost a year the end of this month will make one year I have not had any soda or bread I don't eat so I don't drink soda I don't eat bread um, and I honestly don't miss it I honestly don't miss it um, some some people that has had the surgery can tolerate like a carbonated drink but I'm scared I don't want to rupture anything or I don't just I'm just scared I'm just gonna stay away from it um, but other than that, um, it feels good to be 100 pounds down. Um, I'm still enjoying life, but it's cold outside, so I don't want to really go out too much. 
um, because it's so cold and when I tell you guys I used to love the winter the cold fall these were my seasons when I tell you guys losing that weight it's, it's like that weight was my my warmth so it's like me losing it I'm freezing all the time they did say that um, you can uh, develop anemia after um, having the surgery and stuff like that well I don't know if I have it or not but your girl is freezing like all the time when I tell you all the time so um, but yes it's still nice to go into a store and be able to pick out anything you want without any problem and it not be a crazy expensive like how I used to do and shop with the you know the bigger girl stores and stuff like that I still shop in my big girl stores but I'm just the smallest size um, in the big girl stores because you know their clothes are still bombs always and forever um, but yeah so that's kind of just been like the update you guys so it's the holidays happy holidays to everybody and welcome my new subscribers I have so many new subscribers you guys have been messaging me asking me so many questions I love it I love it I love to give advice if you need anything please feel free to comment I do respond I love to help you guys um, you guys can also follow me on my makeup page uh, MUA Brie it's MUA B-R-I-I -I. Um, that's my public page that I that I use um, I do have a private page but I do prefer the MUA Brie you guys can message me, ask me any questions. Um, I noticed that um, one of the girls, one of the makeup artists, her name is Trey Day. Trey Day actually posted me in her story of my weight loss because you guys know that she actually lost a lot of weight as well. And I told her once I saw her starting to push herself to lose this weight she just inspired me so so much and I contacted her and I let her know and she posted me so I felt so excited about that but she didn't do VSG she did it naturally it's all power to her but um, I try to do it naturally sometimes we just need the help but just to be honest like we need the help but um I feel so so good I want to show you guys a few before and afters of me at the end of the video um, I was never really a dress girl, but I love dresses. You can't pull me out of a dress. Like, I love dresses so, so much. Um, another, uh, negative about the surgery that kind of, like, hit me in, like, maybe, like, my fourth month. Hair loss. They did say, you know, um, you do lose your hair. If you do not take your vitamins, I'm telling you, your hair is going to come out. My hair is very thin, very, very thin. Um, I lost a majority of it mainly in the front um, so it, it was just literally like coming out me and my other friend that also did it we're kind of going through this now it's thin, thinning, thinning out so um, just please to see your vitamins please to see your biotin it's a must um, right now I'm just mainly sticking to ponytails as of right now and trying to do a lot of deep conditions it's growing back slowly it's gonna take its time but um, it's it's expected it's expected um, but yeah, deal with it also too there was a lot of stages too in these previous months where I was getting dizzy a lot at one point I did stop my vitamins and I was getting so so dizzy and I'm just like what's going on what do I need do I need vitamin D is something wrong like but they were saying that because I stopped my vitamins and I was very honest I did tell them that I stopped my vitamins so they said to me, you know, please continue them. So I got them right away. Um, I think my vitamins are here somewhere. Oh, they're actually the regular Flintstone Complete vitamins. That's what they are. Focus. Okay, but yeah. This is what I take. I take the kids one. It's still good. I've been taking those since I came out of surgery. Um, I think I stopped about two months. I stopped in please do not stop your vitamins are everything you need your vitamins and you need a lot of water drink your water you have to stay hydrated because you can faint you can get dizzy the surgery is not a joke like I tell everyone who asks me you know how do you feel or I'm in the process of going forward and stuff like that I just want to let you guys know this is not a quick fix 
Once you hit that one year mark, you have to now maintain that weight that you've lost. You can be still losing, but you now have to maintain it. You know, don't say, oh, well, I hit the one year or I hit my goal weight that now I have to eat whatever I want now. I'm good. No, you're going to gain that weight back. I'm telling you, that stomach will stretch. It will stretch back. I'm telling you. So you have to be very, very careful of what you eat and what you put inside of your body. So um, once you hit that one year, just try your best to maintain it. Do exactly what you've been doing from the beginning and um, stick to it. Just stick to it. Um, I'm very careful now. I have... I go to restaurants, I go to a lot of organic restaurants, and my eating has changed. Of course, I had, you know, a little snack here and there. That's normal. That's fine. Even the doctor said that's fine, but don't let it be a consistent thing, you know? So you have to stick to the plan, you know? Remember why you're doing this, or why you're going through with this, or why you did this. So... You guys, I need to make more videos. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I have to <laughs> make, like, videos. Like, I've just been, like, living life and just, like, forgetting about you guys. And I'm so sorry. I, I would actually love to do, like, a BSG, like, Vlogmas. I want to take you guys with me. I want to show you guys what I do every now and then. Every day, actually. I do want to do that. I think I think I'm gonna start maybe very very late in my vlogmas because we are actually at the fifth. But hey, why not? I'm five days. I missed five days, so why not try <laughs> and like vlog with you guys, take you guys shopping with me and stuff like that for Christmas and things like that. But oh, it feels so good talking to you guys. And if you guys once again have any questions, please feel free to. So I will make more videos for you guys, I promise. This is a hundred pounds on. See that collarbone? Oh, it's everything. That's like the best part, no lie. That's like the best part. When you can feel your collarbone, that's just everything. It's just everything. So I will talk to you guys soon. Um, see you later. Mwah.